Right, oh, we're just doing a quick little modification to my caravan, which I thought might interest a few people. Um, so we swapped the fridge out when we first got the van. It had a three-way gas 240 12-volt fridge in it, which wasn't much good, which they sort of are on an old absorption fridge. So we got rid of that and put the Dometic CRX110 compressor fridge in there, which is solely 12-volt, um, and then, yeah, sort of 240. So, but no gas. So we've had this gas line here, which we disconnected that used to go to the fridge. Uh, it's obviously plumbed into the regulator and the gas bottle on the front of the van. At the moment, when we use the Weber, we've been having to take an extra gas bottle or disconnect the gas bottle that goes to the cookers in here and swap it over so we can yeah run the Weber, which is, gets tiring and painful because we've also got a gas shower as well. So rather than take sort of three gas bottles, um, we thought we'd use this line here and run it through to a bayonet fitting on the outside of the van right underneath the fold down table where the Weber is used and we've bought a quick connect fitting for the Weber for a bayonet fitting and we can whenever you want to use the Weber you fold the table down and plug the bayonet fitting in and you're right to go so this is sort of what we needed so that was the ball cock or the tap that was already on this flared fitting so what we've done is gone and bought a flared fitting flexible hose which is obviously LPG rated um, so yeah it's all good there I'm going to just hook it into there I've already got my hole drilled through the side of the van, which you can see there. So once I get that all connected up, I'll take you outside and show you how easy it is. Alright, uh, so that's all connected. We did choose to leave the tap in there, just so we can turn it off. Now, you're not using the Weber all the time. Sometimes you're cooking inside. I just like to be able to turn off that line, just eliminates the chance of any leaks or anything there. Obviously, you're dealing with gas, so you've got to be a bit careful. A lot of people will comment, I'm sure, and say, oh, you should have got it done by a certified gas installer or a plumber or something like that. Yeah, probably should have, but I'm a builder. I sort of, yeah, know a little bit about this stuff, enough to get me by. As long as you use the right Teflon thread tape, which is designed for gas fittings, make sure you're using the correct fittings that are going to seal, using rated sort of gas LPG lines, all that sort of stuff. And obviously, once you're done... The first thing you do before you even use it is turn the gas on, listen for any leaks, and then run around with a, a bottle of soapy water and just make sure there is no leaks. And because I've got that little ball cock there that I can turn off, I'm um, pretty confident, pretty happy with it. So, so to give you a look, basically this is the hose that we've bought for the Weber. Just screw straight on. It's specifically designed for the Weber or the BBQ or whatever you've got. Just type that into eBay if you're looking for one. Just um, bayonet gas fitting and then put either Weber or Weber Baby Q or whatever you've got. That'll give you this little connection here, which just pushes in. Quick connect over the side here. So that's our fold down table that we use the Weber on. So the Weber will sit on there. We've got this bayonet fitting here, which is again off eBay. So just type in caravan bayonet. Um, and also got it with this little dust cover obviously with it being on the road and dusty dirty roads and things like that you want to be able to cover it up make sure no hornets make nests in there or anything like that so the bayonet fitting and the flexible hose for the Weber come off eBay I think it was about 50 bucks all up for both um, might have been 55 or 60 odd just to get the little dust cover with it but I thought that was worth it this little reducer here so yeah, it goes uh, just a copper reducer from a straight, uh, whatever size that is, into a, a three quarter or three eighth, sorry, um, flared fitting there. The flexible line with the flared fitting on it, and the you now the other end, which obviously went onto the tap. I got all that from a local caravan shop, and that was about twenty eight bucks, I'm pretty sure. So got out of this for well under a hundred bucks, and I think it'll be definitely worthwhile. Or money well spent considering how much easier it's going to be to pull the Weber out and be cooking with it straight away not mucking around with extra gas bottles and things so I'll um gonna get this fitting on here I'll fix that to the side of the van and then I'll give you another look right yeah she's all connected I've checked all the all the fittings uh, there's no gas leaks just did that obviously with the bottle of soapy water um, I did get the three metal long hose which obviously don't need but I like to get the options open if we want to use it somewhere else or 
use it at home it's a lot longer to get to a gas point or anything like that so just to keep it out of the dirt I've just cable tied it up with just enough to get to the fitting so whenever you'll need the barbecue now it's as easy as drop the table down chuck the Weber on grab your quick connect fitting so that's the fitting there just remove the dust cap these push up in like this she's in I better give it a test there we go took a bit for the gas to come through that line because it hadn't been used before but there she is it is obviously quite a long length of line there that's got a Fill up the gas too, so that'll be something to keep in mind. But there you go, how good's that, eh?